top of the popular place all over the world and right now we want to show you the heart of the Moscow, it's Kremlin. The Moscow Kremlin is the most ancient part of Moscow and the main social, political, religious, historical and artistic site seen on the capital. Grand Prince Ivan III organized the reconstruction of the Kremlin, inviting a lot of different Italian architects. The Red Square, Lenin Mausoleum and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier are inseparably connected with the Moscow Kremlin. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is devoted to the soldiers who died near Moscow in 1941. At the 25th anniversary of the battle, the eternal fire of memory was lit here. This is the traditional set scene for tourists and just married. Your name is unknown, but your heroic deed is immortal, says the inscription in the center of the memorial. The Cathedral Square is the most ancient part of the Kremlin. Buildings created by Italian architects explain the main part of this complex. The Cathedral of the Assumption, where coronation of Russian Tsars and Emperors took place, Archangel Cathedral, the Emperor's Shrines, Ivan the Great Bell Tower, which is 266 feet high. It's very cold in the it's, uh, I mean the clean wall. Unfortunately, it never worked because of the day when it was finished, it was broke. It weighs about 202 tons and is 6 meters high. It's called Queen Guns. It was uh, made from the bronze in 1560, yes. It was given such a name because its caliber is 890 mm, and thus it was the biggest gun in the world. It has never shot. The big Kremlin Palace was built on the initiative of Nikolai I in 1838-1850. Nowadays all this complex, except the armory chamber, is the main residence of the Russian Kremlin. The symbol of Russian national identity and one of the biggest architectural complexes has been forming during many centuries. It's hard to name all the sightseeing of Kremlin. You'd better come and see it yourself.